Hi there YouTube fans. Today we're just playing around and we're going to make a pair of earrings because I love making earrings. So what we're starting off with is some 10 millimeter spider wire. You can't see it but it's there. I had some left over and as you know I don't like wasting anything so I'm just taking some scrap pieces I had and I'm gonna whip together a new pair of earrings. So I have an eye pin. Let's see? An eye pin. And I have my wire. I folded my wire and my fishing line in half. I'm putting the loop through the eye of my eye pin. Or you can put the ends, whatever. So I'm putting the loop and then I'm pulling my ends through the loop. And there we go. Now I'm fastened on to my eye pin. There. I'm fastened on to my eye pin. Now... I am going to take a bead, it's just a scrap bead, a random bead, I had two beads the same color, I'm going to put my ends together once again, oh, they're not even, I like to have things even, so I'm just going to trim these, and again this is just scrap. Um, line that I had from another project. I was making a daisy chain necklace and I found that the uh, wire was too, or the fishing line with the spider wire was too thick to use as um, for bead weaving. So I have this scrap. Okay, so you put your two ends through the bead, just like so. Okay, so I've got eye pin, spreader wire attached, and a bead. Okay, now I'm going to put that, and I'm going to take one of the ends, and I'm going to take a beading needle and thread one of the ends. Today I've decided to use the color periwinkle in my 11 knot seed beads. I'm not going to be doing bead weaving, so it'll be okay to use a single strand of this. It is hard because this is thicker, it is hard to thread. And the scissors I'm using today are like the worst scissors in my whole house. <laughs> there we go. So, I've got one of the ends, not both, just one of the ends of my thread. And I'm going to start picking up periwinkle. Now, I'm going to put 50 on a strand, okay? And I just scoop them up. So, I count as I go. Three, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, that's not the right color, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, oh, wrong color. 
say three, say four, say five, say six, say seven, say the eight, say nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, wrong color, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Okay, so now I bring those beads down. Now, here's where we get tricky. We want to, here, I'll show you over top of my pink blocks. Like I said, I have a lot of these threads I want to use up today. Um, garbage. So, we have our eye pin, bead, and string of beads. Now we're going back up through the bead, through the head of the eye pin, okay, pull it tight, and then we're going back down through the bead, okay, and it's all nice and tight, and now we're going to do that again. We're going to do that until we use up all this thread. Um, so I'm probably going to do three with one thread, three with the other. Okay, come back when you're done that. I'll be back when I'm done that, actually. Okay, hi, I'm back. I wanted to show you what I've done. So I've done my, on this thread, I'm on my third loop. I've got the bead strung. I've got the bead strung, and now I'm going to go up through the bead, go through the eye pin, and now I'm going to go back down, and I'm, I've got quite a bit here, but you know what, that's okay, because I'm going to start making my knots. And knots are very important. You have to have your knots. So I'm going to go through a few beads on one of these. I'll go through. Now, like I said, this wire was too thick to do a, a lot of bead weaving, so I don't want to go too crazy. But I'm going to go through and... make a knot. And this is just a small knot. But I'll keep things going. And you never snip at a knot. You always go through some beads after. So through some beads. Whoopsies. Got caught in my eye pin. Jeez, I really got caught in my eye pin. There we go. So through some beads, and then I'm going to make another knot. And these knots are being hidden in my beads, because I'm just doing little tiny knots. Pull tight and weave through some more beads. So I've got two knots in there so far. I'm going to do another knot here. So I go around. I kind of catch my thread where I want it to go. And I go through. I go through the knot. Or the loop. See? And then that's going to give me a little itty bitty knot. And then I go through some more beads. And there we go. i got three knots. I'm just going to keep going. Okay, another one here. I'll go through. I'll go through. Catch my loop. Make a knot. And go through the beads. So four knots now. I'm going to go for as long as my thread will allow. And see, that doesn't look bad. You can't even tell there's knots in this loop. It's a little stiffer than the others, but that's okay. Okay, 
So now after that, I'm going to take my other loop or my other, sorry, thread and I'm going to do three on that one. And then I'll come back and we'll finish off this little cute earring. Okay. Okay, guys. So I am on. Actually, you can see it over there. The last thread of this earring. So I go up through the big bead. It's getting a bit tight now, so it's harder to find it. And then I go through the eye pin. I come back down through the bead. Okay. Now it is time for knots. So I'm going to pick this strand to work on. So I'm going to go in the very first bead and down through a few. Sorry, it's really hard for me to keep my hands down when I'm working because it's just not what I do. Okay, so we went down through the first few. So now we are going to put the needle in between the two beads that we want. It's not going through holes or anything, it's just there. And I kind of brace it there with my fingers to see how I've got this. And I pull until I get a loop. Okay, a nice controllable loop. I go through the loop with my needle. Make sure I'm not around the eye pin or anything. And then I have a little knot like you would use to tie your shoe. And then I pull that tight. Now I go up through a few of those beads because you never snip where you make your knot. And I pull tight. Now that was our first knot. So I'm going to move along. I'm going to move along and again I'm going to make like that triangle with my fingers. I put my needle where my thread is coming out. Okay, like across it. I pull it tight until I have a nice manageable loop. See my loop there? Now I go through the loop with the needle. Pull it tight. And then I go through a few more beads. Going in the right direction. Okay, that was two knots. I'm going to do another one. I make a triangle with my fingers. I put my needle across where my thread is coming out. See that? I pull the thread until I get a manageable loop. See my loop there? Can you see it right there? Now, I take my thread, I go through, whoops, these. I go through that loop. Okay, I make sure I'm not hooked on my eye pin. I make sure that thread is going to, I want my knot to go where that thread is coming out. It's not quite there. There we go. And now I pull it tight and I go up through, through a few more beads. That made us three knots. And I keep going until I've used pretty much all my thread or I'm back at the beginning. So we'll do it again. Make a triangle with your fingers. Okay. Put your needle across in between the two beads that you want your thread to go to. Okay. Now pull tight until you get a manageable loop. Put your needle through the loop. Pull tight. Go up through a few more beads. Okay. 
You never snip where you made a knot. You always go up through a few more beads. I'm going to call it quits here because I have more to show you. And these are the worst scissors in the world. But there we go. We snip. We tidy up. Throw that out. Now, the next part. We have our eye pin with our nice little tassel. If you look at this earring, I couldn't decide on a bead I like, so I decided to go with no bead. And I like how that turned out. So, with my round nose pliers, I will take my eye pin, I will go up on my pliers just a bit. I'm going to make sure that my loop that I'm going to make is going to be this, this facing the same direction. Bend it to 90 degrees. Move my pliers, put it up. Bend the wire back around. Now I'm going to fill up that space I made. And then I'm just going to keep wrapping on our previous wrap. And I try and go three. Okay. Now, I have a bit of a tail there. I'm going to cut the tail as close as I can. And then I'm going to just pinch that all up. Tidy it. There we go. Pinch it so that it doesn't snag on things. Make sure that my Oops, they're facing the same way. Then I'm going to take my ear wire, open that ear wire, put your earring on. There we go. And there we go. We have a pretty set of earrings. Aren't they pretty? So if you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, put on notifications, and thanks for watching. And hopefully I'll be able to do another video before I get evacuated. I hate wildfires, I'm just saying. Talk to you later.